Hey everybody, so today we are in search of lunch or maybe a late lunch, early dinner. Uh, it's blowing 15 knots out of the east so there's not a lot of places to hide out. But uh, I think I'm going to head over to that uh, island I reconned about 10, 15 videos ago and found that nice corner spot. So I think I'll head over there. There's some places I could get sheltered. Uh, just got to pick up some pinfish or something to use for bait. And then stop over there, pick up a snapper. If I get a good one, one. Small ones, I'll take two. And take them home and make lunch. That's the plan. Okay, I'm all set up here. You can see over my shoulder. I'm kind of getting a blocking the wind with this key here uh, using my stakeout pole just to keep me set I'm in about two and a half three foot of water really nice clean uh, turtle grass uh, it gets a bit shallower right along that edge line there where it's darker I wanted a little bit more depth to give these guys to feel a little bit more comfortable I put a fresh new chum block out because I was out of my little bit ones and this is actually pretty interesting to see. If you look out there, you can see that where it's the, uh, it's got kind of an oily sheen and it kind of S's around. It's like a little blob. It's kind of going that way. That's actually the oils and the, the uh, blood from the chum block dissipating out there. And it's just covering that whole swatch of uh, landmass. So anything in that area there is going to sm smell those oils, taste those oils, and it's just going to start following it back up to find out where this is coming from. So I've already got pinfish stacking up all around this area here. Uh, if I stayed long enough, I'll probably get ballyhoo as well. And then all the other critters will start showing up. But for now, all I want is just some pinfish, some nice uh half dollar to silver dollar size pinfish uh then i'm going to take it over to that island over there where that cut is and uh pick up lunch right, i'm getting a few in the chum line i don't need a lot so get our bait and go i got the seven foot three eighths mesh it's gonna love it out there Glad I missed that top there. That always pisses me off when I hit that. Hangs up. And we got a few there. We're good to go. Got this big boy checking us out. He's looking for a free meal. All right, let's go a little farther out. All right, I think that does us. We're good for bait now. And that's what we're looking for. You could really see now how pronounced that chum line goes. So anything in that swatch or anything that swims across there is going to get sucked right up this chum line to see what's going on. That is why chum is so important down here. To know about pinfish is they like to poo a lot when they're stressed out. So once you get them in the bucket or your live well, they'll start basically pooing out everything they've got so you want to flush it out really well in the beginning and then after that you'll see that the water stays clear because they're not stressed out anymore all right we are here at our little selected hidden spot it's got this cut going through here with deep channels running along all these edges so it dumps right off the flats current is going perfectly in this direction although I'm on the windward side which makes it a little sketchier but I think I'll be fine I should have I forgot to bring my anchor which would have made things a lot better or at least some rope which I can so I can might be able to tie off onto that tree there and work that cut there right here I could work this cut here that flows underneath there so we got a few different ways we could fish it I mean all of these cuts are gonna be good but definitely you want to hit the spots where it dumps in first because that's where the fish are going to start stacking up because that's where the food's going to come. Uh, I was going to put the chum out, but I don't think I'll need to. So 
let's get set up and throw a bait out. There we go. Get him out of the gunk. And we got our first schnapper. Little dude. It's a start. Got him on a little pin fish. All right, we're gonna drop this medium sized one right at that edge there. See if anything will come and get it. All right, one's got it. Ah. Ran with it, but didn't take it all the way. All right, I think we've got one. There we go. Pulled him out of the weeds. This could be our keeper. We want 13, 14 inches. Pan size. What do we got here? Well, it looks a little small. From our measuring. Handy Danning measuring, 12-ish. Yeah, right at 12. Ah, inch too short. <laughs> All right, back to the drawing board. You get your freedom to grow up. All right, back you go. There we go. Is this the one? Oh, no. Looks like we're cookie cuttering. This one might be even a little smaller. Definitely not the 13 we want. All right, we go. Oh no, what's that? Oh no, what's that? Oh, it's way over there. Come this way. Oh. What is that? Ah, oh, dang shark. At least it's cooperative and didn't get all tangled up and, oh, talk too soon. Ah, even here the sharks ruin my day. All right, quit messing with the big stuff and let's just catch lunch and be done with it. These guys are annoying me. Everything's annoying me. Damn sharks ruining my vibe. Get out of here. Still see you. Dang it. These sh stupid sharks. Just ruining it for me. There it goes. Ah, oh. sharks, 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 sharks. All right, these sharks are annoying me. We're gonna pull in a couple of 10 inchers and just call it a day. Because two 10s equals a 15, no problem. Oh crap, dang it. Thought that was a shark got it. Nope, it's a snapper. I don't even think this is gonna make our 10 inchers. Oh, there he is. Oh. This one might be worthwhile to go after. Maybe. Ah. He's still on there. 
Might be a decent one. If I can get them out of there. Oh yes, I think, oh, oh yeah, we gotcha. <laughs> I think we got our lunch. That'll work for you, baby. Yeah, I think you're gonna be perfect. All right, we've got our handy dandy measuring stick. So we are at 14 and a half. Perfect. Nice fat one. That's just what we're looking for. So, lunch is served. You can see how thin the uh, flats are around here right now. That's why so many sharks in there. It's the only deep spot in this oasis, so what a pain in the butt. But we got our lunch. All right, got our nice beauty of a mangrove snapper here, 13 and a half inches. Perfect for a fried up dinner there. So I'm gonna clean this guy up and we're gonna fry it up. Shot it. Okay, we've got our beautiful 13 and a half inches of a mangrove snapper. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and fry this guy up. So first I've gotta scale it, gut it, and prep it to be fried. Thank you. We're gonna start with some sweet potato fries just to change things up a bit. Uh, sliced up and sliced the uh, sweet potatoes. I leave the skin on because I like them rough that way. Then uh, soak them for about at least a half an hour. Then uh, dry them out and then they're ready for the oil. I'm gonna double fry these so I'm gonna do probably half here. Uh, let those cook out. Once they get crispied up, take them off, put the these in. When those are done, then just rotate them twice so I get that double fry. For the fish, I just ended up making slices in the fillets just so it cooks evenly, allows some of the spices to get in there. Uh, squirted some lemon juice on it, flour, salt, pepper, cumin. And into the frying pan, just some canola oil. Alrighty, almost done. All right, let's see if we can get this off without totally destroying it or catching on fire. Bam. All right, one of our sides is gonna be coleslaw. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. Throw a trail mix in there for the, give it a little bit of texture, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of color. 
adds a little bit of summer to it. All right, dinner is served. Got mangrove snapper, fried, uh, basically some lemon juice, salt, pepper, cumin. We have some sweet potato fries and then some coleslaw with trail mix and a little bit of lemon to spice things up. So that's what's for dinner. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the good old classic catch and cook featuring mangrove snapper. Uh, it gave me a struggle today. The weather was not so hot with the wind and stuff, but that little pocket area was good. Caught a bunch of undersized and then those damn sharks just <laughs> terrorizing me made it tough. But luckily I got this 13 and a half incher worked out perfectly. Uh, I love doing these cause you get these nice big chunks of meat straight off the bone there. Mm. Every once in a while, I just get that craving for fried fish. You just can't beat the mango snapper for that. We've got our coleslaw kind of kicked up a bit with some trail mix to make it more summertime. Mm -mm. And of course, kind of changed things up a bit. Went with the sweet potato fries. These are excellent. They give you that little bit of sweet instead of the uh, salty, uh, regular, normal French fries. In fact, sometimes all I'll do is I'll melt butter, mix in some brown sugar, and make that kind of a ketchup for these and kind of super sweet. But it's really not necessary. But again, I want to say a huge shout out and a huge thank you to everything that everybody that's bought something on the allaboutthebait.com uh, website. It's been crazy. I mean, just totally way beyond my expectations ever, ever expected it to be. I just keep bringing stuff in and you guys keep buying it all out. Uh, it's, a, it's a great problem to have. So I'm just going to keep, keep moving stuff in. Uh, just a reminder, this weekend is the end of the uh, $20 grand opening special. I got to end it eventually. Um, basically, we have the uh, Pilcher Tarpon Long Sleeve in white with the uh, teal ink or the uh, ash colored with the uh, forest green ink. And uh, the ash one is actually going to be discontinued. Um, I've got five new designs coming in this month, so I need the space. So that's going away. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the white one will be my forever staying. That's my original design that basically started everything off and it's been carrying and selling so well. So I'm just going to keep that forever. Just got to raise the price a bit. Uh, but again, uh, thank you so much for everybody who's bought something and anybody who's even checked out the site because that helps as well. Uh, I've actually got an email that I surpassed 1,000 transactions yesterday. Amazing, 1,000 and I, I a month maybe, a little over a month. Uh, just insane. Um, they actually gave me the name of the person. It was uh, Glenn Tasik, or it's F-T-A-C-E-K. You are my 1,000th customer, so <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, but again, huge thank you to you guys for uh, making this what it is. It's just been incredible. So thank you very much. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the catch and cook. I'll try to get more of those. It's just uh, been kind of hectic, but as we start getting longer stretches of uh, better wind conditions, then I'll be able to kind of focus a little bit more on doing these, get a more varieties of uh, fish out there. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.